So, once again, welcome back. I'm pretty sure this will be another episode of The Fine Line with me, your boy, the man, NJ, to the city with the number two in TL. Let's go. Let's get into it. So, I'm pretty much focusing back on um, the same topic of um, Pool Patrol Paula story. Black teen speaks about after women charged with assaulting him at a pool. Uh, like I said before, uh, at the beginning of the last video, a lot of people, a lot of people, they you have bought and they've negatively bought into racism, and because of that, you see where it has landed a lot of people's mentalities and personalities and attitudes towards acting and behaving, you know, and etc. And um, and like I said, you know, it's it's very much you know dawning in many cases it's amazing negatively that is and it makes you want to think to yourself where are people's hearts where are people's souls where are people's spirits at the end of the day but this is why i said before that you know this is why i said and nobody has to agree with me on again any of these takes uh but this is why i said before that um um if you um if i i'm willing to bet a lot of people who claim themselves to be religious if they were to die tonight they're not going to heaven and again, God knows, I hate, I literally hate to talk like that. Because I definitely believe God is the only one that's qualified to talk like that. But I'm telling you, when you literally study people's actions, behaviors, you know, how they talk and etc. When you study all this stuff, the proof and evidence tells a lot. And it's right there in your face. The evidence is literally two plus two right there in your face. And it depends on what are you going to accept versus what are you going to deny. And how are you going to use it, you know, going forward to help strengthen you and encourage you and enlighten you and et cetera. But a lot of people have done the absolute, a lot of people have absolutely done, absolutely done the opposite of everything I just said. They've let it negatively corrupt them. And that's literally one of the top, re top things, top epidemics, if you were to ask me, we face in today's you know, really world period, we face in this world period is we face people who negatively let racism conquer everything about them. They're very subtle at hiding it at times, but again, wait for the right opportunity and it will expose itself. It will bring itself out. You know, as I said before, and I'm pretty sure this will be again etched on my grave because again, this is pretty much, if you were to ask me my entire existence, when it comes to, you know, what my entire, entire, entire existence is definitely based upon, a cornerstone of it. Um, love thy neighbor as thyself. Again, because especially, and I hate to take a, a little bit break from the fine line here to a certain degree, or at least this topic to focus on my own personal life to a certain degree. But I do want everybody to realize, especially everybody went, went to Nice High School for the last two, three years, you know, if anybody... You know, again, full, again, not to say everybody liked me, but again, you know, um, again, out of like 50, it was definitely like a good, like, um, out of 50, it was good 49, you know, 49% of people. Uh, I don't know why I use that ratio with it, because the usual ratio I use, um, the usual ratio I use is, uh, what is it called? The usual ratio, sorry, ratio I usually use is out of 25 people don't like me, but if I were to be even more precise with that, that even that ratio is not true. It's really like, you know, it's that slim 1% that don't like me. From all the people that I know, it's that slim 1% that don't like me. And God knows. But what I'm trying to say there, because I'm getting sorry to, you know, you know, you know, dive off from the final line topic on my own personal experience. But what this really goes to is that one of the top ways I got all the popularity and love and et cetera that I got at Nice over, if not over the past five years, Allen D. Nice High School, by the way, if not over the past five years, definitely over the past two or three years, was because I practically mastered the art of loving thy neighbor as thyself. I practically mastered that. And if you were to ask me, it's not hard to master that. But, if, but most definitely, if your heart is already filled with a ton of hate or a ton of um, bias standards towards humanity or whatever else the case is, you know, it's going to be hard for you, definitely, if your heart's already filled with a ton of that. If you were to ask me, I always had to have the love of the Father in me. It just definitely took a tad bit, you know, extra time to finally bring it all out, and it obviously manifested, you know, the way it did. And God bless everybody, of which who I definitely positively affected. And to everybody who, again, does not like me, 
again, I definitely pray for you and hope that, you know, for better and for worse, your soul definitely finds its way to heaven. Um, because, again, that is where Jesus wants everybody to go. That's where the Holy Trinity wants everybody to go, you know. And it's not to say if you hate on me, you're, it's not to say if you hate, hate on me, it's a hell sentence. But like I said before, listen to what I'm preaching here. Listen to all these other, other videos which I'm, I've done. Listen and meet me in person. And here, I, here I'm, I'm talking then. Compare, compare and contrast that to yourself and a ton of other people that are just like me or just like yourself. And or even compare it to what the Bible says. And you be the judge of that. You be the judge of that. Uh, again, I don't mean to sound like a very... Uh, you know, negatively arrogant person with that, um, with everything I just said, but I'm definitely trying to just trying to get people to understand. The evidence is there. I mean, one of the reasons why I've been as blessed as I have been for the past few years is because definitely, I definitely reap what I sow, and I've been putting a lot of real vibes out there for years. You know, I've been putting a lot of real vibes out there for years. You know, and the, de and, sorry, and, you know, and God, sorry, God, and God has his, you know, God has his plan, number one, and I definitely also believe that, um, I also believe that, um, um, uh, other than, okay, I kind of lost my train of thought there, but, um, still, I mean, I definitely hope that everybody understands that at the end of this video, one of the top things I want you to take is just the fact being, if you want to stop this race war, which we're in, which is a complete epidemic, if you were to ask me, if you want to stop this race war, just learn to love thy neighbor as thyself. And that's literally what you have to do. If you want to stop this race war, get out of all that negative bias bigotry that I'm pretty sure a lot of one-sided, two-faced, hypocritical people have bought into and truly get with Jesus. Truly get with Jesus Christ and his salvation. Because I am literally telling you, if, you know, if the Holy Trinity meant for racism to exist... There is no way in the world, again, definitely two plus two rational sense, that verse would not exist the way it does. Love thy neighbor as thyself. It would not exist if, if God ever meant racism to exist. So again, ladies and gentlemen, you know, that's, again, that's literally what it is. If you want to get out of this, this race war, literally dump all that negative two-faced, biased garbage out of your system today and or whenever else you you know you can but definitely I advise you to do it today but I definitely know for a lot of people it's going to be a process it's going to be a process it's not going to happen overnight for a lot of people you know but definitely I'm telling you do it before it's too late dump all that negative two-faced biased waste out of your mentality of how you treat people, especially because of, oh, because they're 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 race. I automatically assume they're they're this and they're that. Now I'm not saying I haven't I'm not saying that I haven't racial profiled before, you know, because I definitely have at times racially profiled somebody, you know, automatically assume because you know they were black or they were white, you know, it was this and it was that. I'm not saying I haven't. God knows I'm not saying I haven't. But at the same time, I still put the love of the Father first and darn straight overcame it, you know, again, I'm just trying to get people my God honest and real authentic story, because I ain't saying I'm perfect, I've never claimed to be perfect, but I definitely have claimed to, I know I do a lot right every day of my life that has continuously blessed me with everything that I continuously have, you know, and I'm telling you, one of the basis of my entire existence is literally, love thy neighbor as thyself, if you want a better tomorrow, that's the first way to start, Love thy neighbor as thyself. Learn how to do that. And that's why God bless all churches out there because I really do want to know what in God's name are a lot of these churches out there teaching, you know, the, you know, the, you know, I really do wonder. But at the same time, I mean, it's, it's almost not even, it's, it's like, and like I said, and I wonder, and I say that, ladies and gentlemen, I say that because. I said it before. You have a lot of false prophets out there, and if you are, and if you are not geared up with what the Bible says, most definitely. But again, that one scripture of love thy neighbor as thyself. If you're not geared up with that scripture, you'll fall for anything. Ugh, sorry, I think and believe you'll fall for anything. If you don't, if you do not concrete know that scripture and believe in that scripture and let it manifest in your life with how you conduct your everyday thing, everyday basis of of things. 
I think I do believe you'll fall for anything. And that's what I mean about a lot of people are in the devil's matrix and don't even know it. A lot of people are doing the devil's work and don't even know it. Because God don't stand for hate, ladies and gentlemen. God don't stand for hate. I'm telling you, it's literally, especially with, again, with spiritual terms, it's two plus two right there. God don't stand for hate. So again, again, use your own discernment on everything else I've said, you know, but definitely the concrete thing I want everyone to take from my entire existence, especially the youth, because again, I'm, again, youth, you are, again, my part of my everything, you know, and my core audience here is the youth, just to let everybody know whether or not this video ever goes viral or not, the youth is a part of my everything, the youth is my core audience to preach to. Um, yes. Love thy neighbor as thyself. You know, I mean, take please today, tomorrow, whatever, you know, not even whatever, whenever. Try to you try to take those steps. Again, because again, and I say when I say whenever, because I do know for a lot of people, it's not going to happen overnight. But try to take steps in that process, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? Again, I'm qualified to say it now because I got baptized. Get baptized. Do it. Especially to all you youth out there. Get baptized. Get baptized. And especially every kid that looks up to me. That's coming from NJ to the city. Your mentor, your role model, your inspiration, etc. Get baptized. Because look at the world you live in. Look in at the look at the world you live in. There is cess. And hear me correct. There is cess everywhere. And you have to ask yourself, why is that? Because these people are not truly putting God first. And they're, these people would ask me, and they're doing the devil's work and don't even realize it. Etc. So most definitely for all youth out there, um, you know, it's, 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 like, it's not too late for anybody, but most definitely the youth, it's, not, it's never, ever, ever, ever too late. You know, it's never, ever, ever too late. It's not too late for anybody, but definitely to the youth, it's never, ever, ever too late. You know, you know, start practicing loving thy neighbor as thyself today. And you will see the world, the world, the world of, of Jesus Christ, salvation, wonders. God's gift of wonders, it will do in your life. Literally. So forth and so forth. So, 12 minutes into this, um, I don't know what I'll title this. If this, was, this was more of a Believable Faith Ministries episode than the final line, but I'll probably combine both of them like I did with the State of Our Education System and uh, Believable Faith Ministries. But again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going uh, uh, <laughs> to... I really should get back to the other part of, of when it comes to of all of those adults there. I really should get back to that, honestly, but I'll probably get back to that in the next video. Like I say, especially for the youth, it ain't too late, man. It was, it's never, ever, 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 ever too late. And I really, really, really want people to do what they got to do to truly start helping heal this culture today. You know, today towards our better tomorrow, tomorrow. Because I'm telling you, you know, look at the world you live in, especially for the youth. Look at the world you live in. I'm not saying you have to know everything it is about politics, but look at the world you live in. You live in a race, in a, in a, in a race war. It's on your front it's on your front doorstep. It's in your backyard. And for some of us it's darn straight in our own houses. You live in a race war. And the best way to solve it, slash the only way to solve it, is to truly accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and start loving thy neighbor as thyself. That's etched on my grave, that's on my everything. That's on my afterlife. That's on my entire existence, ladies and gentlemen. It's real. It's right there. It's two plus two. And again, I'll definitely get into what the churches are, you know, I'll, their responsibility is later on. I'll get into that. So again, ladies and gentlemen, especially the youth, take care. God bless. I love you. You know what's up. I make music for you all the time. Um, take care of your families, take care of your neighborhoods, take care of your schools, etc. God bless, one once is unashamed, God first, God over everything. Peace.